brick masonry in this lesson the learner will be able to define brick masonry list out the types of bonds explain the construction procedure for different types of bonds in the ancient period people constructed buildings with the help of stones and lime mortar but shifting the huge stones was a very tedious process as the sledges were pulled by a team of laborers and the tracks were kept waxed in order to reduce friction slowly people started to use the lightweight bricks and cement mortar for the construction of buildings for purpose of constructing different types of bonds are followed brick masonry is built with bricks bonded together with mortar for permanent buildings lime or cement mortars are used but for temporary sheds mud mortar may be used now let us discuss about the bricks and different types of bonds in brick masonry in detail the general size of the modular brick is 190 mm by 90 mm by 90 mm let us learn about the different dimension of a brick this is the stretch of face this is the head of face and this is the half queen closer brick laying process can be done perfectly with the brick professional equipment in the following images shown on the screen you can see the vertical plane guide the horizontal plane guide the mason made and the pro pointer let us now discuss the process of making cement mortar the preparation of cement mortar is done in the ratio of 1 is to 3 for grade m 7.5 cement that is one bag of cement for three bags of sand add water to the cement whose ratio is 70 percentage of the weight of the cement for one brick thickness wall construction start the construction by first laying the head of face keep two bricks each at one end by placing the cement mortar below it temporarily fix the mason made and tie a thread at the top corners as shown on the screen place the cement mortar by using the vertical guide finish the header row and place the cement mortar above it with the horizontal guide continue the same process for the stretcher row the various types of bonds generally used in brick masonry are stretcher bond header bond english bond and flemish bond in stretcher bond masonry all the bricks are arranged in stretcher courses in the header bond brick masonry all the bricks are arranged in the header courses english bond courses consist of headers and stretchers in the flemish bond each course comprises of an alternate header and stretcher in the stretcher bond masonry all the bricks are arranged in stretcher courses however care should be taken to break the vertical joints originally it was used for half brick thickness walls in the header bond brick masonry all the bricks are arranged in the header courses this type of bond is useful for the construction of one brick thick walls english bond courses consist of headers and stretchers this is considered to be the strongest bond hence it is the commonly used bond for the walls of all thickness in the flemish bond each course comprises of an alternate header and stretcher the alternate courses start with a stretcher and a header let us summarize what we have learned in this lesson brick masonry is built with bricks bonded together with mortar in stretcher bond masonry all the bricks are arranged in stretcher courses in header bond brick masonry all the bricks are arranged in the header courses english bond courses consist of headers and stretchers in flemish bond each course comprises of an alternate header and stretcher 